Hello and welcome to this video about the uh, pair of electro companies. Uh, it's a preamp called EC3. It's also a limited edition with Larvicid stone panels and EW100 DMB. Although it says amplifier 100 dual mono balanced, it's actually 125 volt amps. And as you see, it's sort of bluish tinge or grey with blue covers and, and you know plugs on them. Most of the other ones that I have are, have a greenish tinge. Anyway, I bought the preamp as a faulty one and power amp as a good one. And uh, I think it's the other way around. Now, one good thing I have to say about Thorsten, he has packed it extremely well. It's the first time I received those Lavicate panels and neither of them is broken. They normally are very crumbly, you know, on the side. They, they crack, they particularly crack on preamps around um, knobs where, you know, where the, the amount of panel is, um, is sort of uh, reduced. So what have we got here? It's a, it is very similar to a standard one. It's got different connectors and, um, and I think bigger transformers. But as you see, it has been worked on and these uh, terminal blocks suggest that somebody was measuring current as he was firing it up and did not uh, restore it back to normal. Um, what also, well, the capacitors here are changed on the output. As you can see on the left channel, one of the resistors is non-standard, you know, normally come with those green ones there, this 0.220. Um, and, uh, and the relays are non-standard, but that might be even a good thing, you know, maybe these are bigger relays. However, uh, you can see that there's a transistor there, big power transistor has been replaced, the legs have not been cut off. and. Um, and all that, all the, the transistors here in the left channel are also different to, to the green ones that are normal there. And also you can see that heatsink have been fitted, which heatsinks might be a good idea too. I mean, this thing runs hot. What worries me about though, because I looked at um, uh, the voltage, is just to see if the repair has been done properly. So we have no DC component on the output at all. But, sadly, whereas right channel uh, pots adjust as, um, as it should be, you know, for 35 uh, volts, uh, 35 millivolts across those resistors, um, the left channel just sits here at 15 and, you know, you can turn it as much as you like clockwise, anti-clockwise, it just doesn't do anything. So you can see also there is down there there's a red wire just to, to the up to from the connector. You know there's some there must have been a track uh, busted. You see down there there's a red wire somebody fitted. So sadly this thing needs to be looked at again and to, to, to restore a proper operation and setting a proper voltages. I have to check what transistors they use there. So it's a sad thing. I just this is the second power amp that I bought. In, in the, the again, it's it's um, it's been worked on and not done properly. Not done properly because really that uh, that adjustment uh, should be there on on the diagram. If you look, that's the um, R41, and it. Uh, it sends a sort of bias into the uh, a pair of um, differential, probably drivers, almost getting into power stage. Well, I don't know. I haven't looked at that in in details. But um, well, the DC adjustment works fine. So I think it's it's only from there on that we have a problem. Anyway, if anybody has any experience with those, uh, please uh, put something in the comments, you know, what is likely to be the cause there, that the R41 just doesn't do anything. Well, thank you very much, and till the next one, which will be about this preamp. Just a quick note, uh, 
you know, you can see it there, there's like 25 transistors, or maybe you can't see it, put some more light. 25 transistors in each channel, and outputs are positive and negative for each. In fact, they're not outputs, I'm silly, it's inputs. So you can run from cartridge from all four wires, and this is a balance differential amp, and then you have um, your signal going to you know, all the way, preamp and power amp, all in balance mode, so I have not seen that before. Interestingly, I think if you're running it in a, um, because that, that is a moving coil um, phono stage, and if you don't want moving coil, you just have to remove it and short some links, and then you don't have that um, luxury of, of really balanced uh, um, end-to-end -end amplification. I myself have bought a uh, Bang & Olufsen machine and uh, but sadly I've been told that you cannot get uh, moving coil cartridges for those so it's sort of a bit sad you know I wanted to really listen to turntable setup with TP4 cartridge and then the balanced end-to-end -end amplification. Well as I said too bad so sad. Thank you very much and till the next one. Bye bye.